Hi, this is Professor McLaughlin with Management 12A Legal Environment of Business. As we launch into the next three chapters, which are all about contracts, I thought, is it four? It's three chapters. Chapter six, seven, and eight are all about contracts. I wanted to share a contract with you that you are probably regulated under. It is the TikTok Terms of Service. And I wanted to do a real quick intro into some of the basic contractual concepts that underpin your relationship with TikTok, if you use TikTok, and some of the interesting uh, aspects of it that you might understand better since we've come through chapter one through five primarily the dispute resolution clause, but just in general, how does this contract work? So this contract is for US users of TikTok. So if you downloaded the app and you began to use it, you are governed by it. Most contracts are gonna begin with some definition so that we under so that we're agreeing on what we, these words are we're agreeing on what service means and i'd like to point out that real quickly in this contract describing your relationship with tiktok have an arbitration clause and uh the arbitration clause is important for a whole bunch of reasons having having gone through chapter five where you've no chapter three and chapter two, all the chapters actually, where you're understanding your right to due process, your right to a hearing, your right to notice, um, your right to address the grievances that you have, all covered in our previous chapters. And this contract says you will not have access to the courts until you go through an arbitration. So we saw in chapter four, arbitration, mediation, um, arbitrations are what we call creatures of contract. They are created primarily and for our purposes in a business law class, they are created by a contractual relationship between parties. And from a business perspective, that is good because it keeps us out of the public eye, out of the courts. It can be faster, it can be cheaper, and the parties control that. And my question to you and something to have you think about it is, you really don't control this. This is what we call a pre-dispute binding and mandatory arbitration clause that if you wanted to avoid, you just don't use TikTok. Now, I did notice in the Snap Inc. Terms of Service, when I pre last looked at it, it's been a couple months, that you can opt out of that. And I'll make a series of videos on this TikTok Terms of Service to help underscore for you what we're really looking for. We're, we're trying to understand the elements of a contract. A contract has an agreement between an offeror and an offeree, TikTok is saying, you wanna use my platform, you have to agree to this, and you are deciding, kind of, do I wanna be bound by this contract? And is that too high a price to pay for using TikTok? And it's not, <laughs> TikTok's amazing. So, and horrible in many ways. Um, so what I'd like to do is have a series of, create a series of, um, of videos for you that help tie this contract to the, con uh, the concepts of contract that you are learning in chapter six and chapter seven. Chapter six is a fundamental about the elements of a contract. Chapter seven is really, and this is in the Melvin textbook. Chapter seven is about enforcement and defenses to the contract. So for our purposes here, what we're noticing is that we have an arbitration clause denying us access to the courts and waiving rights to a class action, which we'll get into later. Let's go a little deeper. 
you are accepting the terms by using the service. It's the same thing with your credit card. You get a new credit card the minute you use it, you have accepted the terms of service. And sometimes you'll notice credit card companies will update their terms of service. We saw this when the European Union came out with new privacy laws. And the minute you use your credit card after that update, you have agreed to those new terms of service. I'm going to stop it here. What we really have just covered is um, a couple of concepts, acceptance, use as acceptance to an offer, the fact that this terms of service is an offer to you as a user, and your use of the service is acceptance, and that really interesting arbitration clause up right up front with our terms of service, denying you the right to the courts, but also maybe saving you money, maybe saving you time and energy. All right, more later. Thank you.